His family and friends are making me feel so guilty for breaking up with him. We broke up a few days ago and I blocked him but now he's getting all his friends and relatives to call, text me telling me how he feels so bad and please talk to him. I've blocked so many numbers but they keep coming. The other day his mother said he's been crying on the phone to her and to please give him another chance. I blocked her. And yesterday his sister sent me all these messages saying I am making him seem like a monster by not forgiving him and saying he would never do the stuff he said he would never do that. For context, he had said various insulting and threatening things to me before. We're long distance BTW. But the other day he was mad I wasn't answering my phone. Long story. And he sent a really truly bad threat over the messaging app. Like literally my stomach felt sick when I read it. Then he tried to take it back and say it. Came out wrong. But I've reread the screenshot a million times. So I broke up and blocked him cause it freaked me out. So his sister was saying he's not a monster he would never really do that. How could I think he would really do that? And I blocked her. But today his friend texted me and said the threatening MSG was a typo? Like I feel crazy BC I felt like breaking up was the appropriate response to his messed up message. But now everybody keeps flooding my inbox with texts about how he didn't mean it and I need to unblock him bc he would never do that idk i feel guilty bc i know he's so upset and crying to his mom and everything slash 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 like i can't be right if a million people are telling me i am wrong right idk what to do keep knocking them down as they pop up whack-a-mole style you made the right call Keep blocking. And do not respond. If you respond, they know you're listening. Don't add fuel to the fire and it'll burn out. Like I can't be right if a million people are telling me I am wrong? Right? IDK what to do? Not true. These people don't know or care what's right for you. Only him. Stick to your guns. Boy. I can't imagine anything more romantic than having the love of my life return to me because my extended family browbeat and shamed them into it. He sounds like an idiot. And based on the behavior of his family he clearly comes by it honestly. Block the lot of them and move on with life. Like I can't be right if a million people are telling me I am wrong? Generally speaking this is a good sentiment to go through life with and an important part of critical self-reflection. But you're not really arguing with a million independent voices here. You're still arguing with your ex-boyfriend. He's just using his family and friends as proxies. Gaslighting you into not believing your own mind as a classic abuse tactic. Love bombing swarming you with people as insanely overboard and creepy. Is he handing out your personal contact info and sicking these people in you? That isn't caring. It's harassment. You don't owe him literally anything. Relationships can be ended at any time. For any reason. You are not beholden to this person forever. The fact his family and friends don't see this as the huge boundary violation that it is tells me. Their enabling is creepy ass behavior. If it continues, threaten to go to the police if they keep contacting you. Make it clear with each new contact that continued contact is pushing you further from ever wanting to hear from him ever again. If that doesn't work, you may need to change your contact info on various social media so they cannot find you. I'm sorry you're going through this. Disappointed click hello i understand you stopped fucking my son why did you stop fucking my son your reasons for not fucking my son are irrelevant to how much he wants to keep fucking you he is unhappy so i'd like you to go back to fucking my son bye click so what's up with not wanting to fuck my brother 
He fucks really good. Dot quote. Click. Hello. This is Pastor Bob. I understand you stopped fucking one of the children of one of my parishioners whom I never see. Dot quote. This is why you feel crazy. Because this shit is crazy. But you are not the one who is crazy. Know what I mean? Stick to your guns. If this guy were so great. Everyone who knows him would just tell him there's someone else out there for him and to move on. Them all bugging you actually indicates you were the only one putting up with his BS. And they figure it would be easier to get him back with you. Then hope to find another sucker. Trust your gut. If he wrote something that made you feel like that it's bad enough. Whether he would do it or not isn't what matters. Although it's very likely that he would be abusive and manipulative on some level if he's going to. All these lengths after showing his true colors. He can't stand that he lost you and probably feels sick that he can't get in your ear to explain it. All away. The fact that he goes crying to his mother is super weird behavior. If I had to guess. He's a closet psycho who showed his true colors and now is turning to all the people he knows to get confirmation that he's not a psycho. Because he's deeply disturbed by whatever came out when he sent the text that got him dumped. Take all that with a pinch of salt as I don't really know enough. One thing's for sure though. You don't owe him or his people anything. Keep blocking until he gets over it and be very wary if he ever shows up in person. They are part of his problem. If they are all pressuring you to take him back. If you do I will guarantee he will get worse as he knows you will bow down to the pressure from his family and friends. Keep blocking but send this message before you block to whoever contacts you. We are finished you need to accept that if you keep messaging me I will take further action as you are harassing me. Then block them please keep all communication and speak to your friends and family let them know what is happening. The idea of, if enough people think something, they must be right, is a form of bullying and manipulation. That's probably how he got all his friends and family to send you messages. Don't feel bad. You know he obviously did something wrong if he's encouraging all of his friends and family to text and call you. He's clearly got issues. So just continue blocking the people texting you and move on from him. Keep blocking them. Do not respond. Send them the message he sent you and then block them. He is spinning a story and it can turn dangerous. If it was a murder threat, go to the police. All of these people can fuck right off. There are never threats in a healthy relationship. Good for you for having boundaries and breaking up with him. First step. Just block each new message. Do not respond to any of them. None. Second step. Go and live your life surrounded by friends. I would share screenshots of things he said on all social media. And then I would hang up on people as soon as you know who they are and block everyone who calls me. Those people are called flying monkeys. He's sending him on his errands. Just cut them all off. Just another comment no matter how many people tell you you should go back with someone. It is your choice. And it doesn't sound like you should. Like I can't be right if a million people are telling me I am wrong? Right? Um. Wrong. Just because a million people disagree with you does not make you wrong. You don't have to look far in history to see examples of atrocious wrongs that millions of people felt were perfectly okay. Stand your ground. Only you have the right to decide what is right for you. Do not let anybody else tell you what you have to think. I get that people sometimes get emotionally wound up and say things that they do not mean. But there needs to be accountability. They need to admit that they screwed up and take responsibility for their words before healing and 
Forgiveness can even begin. And even then there is no promise of reconciliation. Stay true to your feelings. If your reaction was that the relationship is not safe or not what you want, go with that. Don't let his supporters influence your decision. You do not know how he has framed the situation to them. Like I can't be right if a million people are telling me I am wrong? It is unfortunately very very common for family to agree with family in situations like this. Same for friends. Take anything they say with a huge grain of salt. Their judgment is clouded. Not to mention your ex painted it as a tragic misjudgment. Or sugarcoated it entirely. Stay strong. You know what he did. Don't let others who don't have your best interests at heart. Not yours. Tell you how to feel about this. That's nuts. Who recruits everyone in their orbit to pressure someone else? That's really manipulative and you made the right choice to block him and all his flying monkeys. No means no. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.